Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Real Sociedad career mode. I can only apologize that it's been a couple of days, I think five days now, since the last episode. I just have not been in the mood to play this game, but I'm feeling good today. Uh, there's no face cam. It is way too hot to have all of my lights on. It's ridiculous in the UK right now. We're just not able to cope with this kind of heat. It's disgusting. I've got my AC on again. Sorry if you can hear that. But anyway, we are coming back into this career mode with an absolute banger. We've got a massive game in the Champions League round of 16. I don't believe you guys have seen who we've got. But first, before I reveal it, we've got a couple of games to get through. Actually, I tell you what, I'm going to reveal it first. We've got Bayern Munich in the round of 16. It is a very, very tough draw. The competition could come to an end for us right now. It's going to be very difficult to overturn this Bayern side. But anyway, I've played a couple of games. Let's go ahead and go into the calendar and I'll show you exactly what has happened. So I had Celta in the quarterfinals of the Spanish Cup. And it was one all after extra time. It went all the way down to penalties and we scored the winner with Valverde. I mean, that's not a bad start. He's just joined the club and he's won us the penalty shootout. Nice. We had Celta Vigo again in the league. We won against them 3-1. Yeah, it was fair to say this one went a little bit more smoothly. Jovic with a beautiful goal there early on in the second half. And then we made it 2-0 right after that. We then conceded a penalty. And then we made it 3-1 with Oyarzabal with a cracking finish. Then going into that semi-final first leg against Barcelona, we unfortunately lost 2-0. This game was absolutely horrendous. We were getting some bad luck. This goal here, I mean, we've got players surrounding Dembele, yet he still manages to hook that one in. I was uh, a little bit frustrated by that one. And then, yeah, the less said about this one, the better. They were going to score. I had to try and hook it out. And I just, I don't know. And then going up against Zaragoza, we got a very bad result. A one-all draw away from home, just simply not good enough, really. I really needed to win this game as well. So I was devastated that I took the lead and I was playing pretty well. And then we just gave it away at the end. And then at the end, a 3-1 win against Granada. Not too bad of a result. They're right down at the bottom of the league, though, so we, we should be winning that. So the first leg of the semi-finals, losing 2-0. We do have a, we have another game to play against them, of course, the second leg, and also a game in the league against them. And in between, we've got oh, the buying games as well. It's just it's a tough time right now. Lots of big games, but let's go ahead and jump into the Champions League first leg of the round of 16 against Bayern right now. In real life, Bayern won the Bundesliga again. No surprise. That was quite recently. Congratulations to them. But more importantly, I think I owe Liverpool fans uh, a congratulations as well. They've gone ahead and done it. They've won the league last night with Man City losing to Chelsea. You've got to give it to Liverpool. What an incredible team they've built. And a uh, big fan of Klopp as well. What a man. But uh, yeah, congrats to Liverpool fans. I'm sure you're having a great time right now. It's a shame it wasn't done in normal circumstances, you know, with a full stadium and things like that. But hey, you've still won the league, okay? For the first time in 30 years. Congratulations to them. But anyway, we need to be winning this game against Bayern. I've gone with a very strong lineup. I'm going to try and get... Oh, okay. I thought about trying to get Jovic in. That didn't quite go to plan. I've only just noticed that Marino is starting for Bayern. Of course, we lost him due to a release clause being activated by Bayern. And he's starting for them. So, yeah, it's kind of... It was meant to be, wasn't it, that we'd get them in the round of 16? Oh, what a ball that is. What a pass. Shula, no chance of keeping up with Oyarzabal. Please, no, you're kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I don't think it was Shula, by the way. I think it was Romagnoli. They've signed him. Interesting. Erdegaard with the corner. Ooh. That was close. Let's try and get another cross in here. Oh, dear. That was poor. But there he is, Marino. I miss him, man. What a player. I'm in trouble here. Munayin, he's going to get the cross in if we're not careful. There it is. Pau Torres has defended it so well, though. Now Dominguez can push forward. Go on, over the top. We've got Oyarzabal going through again. We need some runners, please. Try and pick out Erdegaard. Nice. Oh, Jovic. No, Pavard. How has he got there? Oh, we should have scored by now. We really should have scored. Nice. Nice. Oh. Oh. Finish it. No, you... Oh, you've got to be joking. How? How have we not scored? This is unbelievable. Bayern 
just... Oh, they're living dangerously right now. They should be losing this. Knowing my luck, they're going to get forward here and score. Although they're running out of time. Nope, there you go. There is half time. What a first half. Guys, I've got to say, we are playing some incredible football. And we should be winning, as I said before. The real question is, can I keep this performance going? Or are we going to suffer? Who knows? We're through, though. Porto. Go on, son. He's still going. Into the box for Erdegaard. No. 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 I'm not having this. This isn't fair. Something dodgy's going on right now. <laughs> nice, Erdegaard. Lovely. No. I tried to get it over the top. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. He's just one pass away from getting in again. Surely... I'm going to score soon. If I don't, if I actually don't win this game, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. Imagine the scenes if they score from this corner. Just imagine it. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God, if that went in. Whew, jeez. Just had a thought that that would rock it into the top corner and I would quickly alt F4 the game, uninstall it, never play it again. Good tackle, Valverde. Lovely stuff. Now, here is Porto again. Go on, back post. No, again, this Marquinhos guy is getting on my nerves now. Their whole defence has just been just <laughs> annoyingly good when they need to be. Here's Gnabry again. Gets the cross in. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. oh, can you imagine if that was Marino and he scored? Can you imagine that? Oh, man, I'd feel a little bit sad about that. Oh, what a ball. What a ball into Ayazabal. Surely we get the winner here. He has to finesse it. Please. Yes! <laughs> Finally we've scored with a minute left on the clock. Not even that. We take a 1-0 advantage when we go to Bayern in a couple of weeks. That is massive. We haven't conceded and we've, we've managed to score. That's deserved as well. I cannot wait to see the stats of this. We have been all over them. How is it only 1-0? I don't know, man. Really, really disappointing that I haven't been able to score more. But to be fair, Bayern defensively have been strong. When they needed to be, as I said earlier, they were just there. Maybe it was their midfield that struggled. I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't have signed Marino. Ah, what a shame. They could have had Valverde like we got. Look at this. Six shots, six on target. I had a little bit less possession. My pass accuracy wasn't great. But we destroyed them in this game. We could have scored four or five. But somehow we only come away with a 1-0 win. Hopefully that will be enough though. But it probably won't be. So now we go straight into the game against Barcelona in the league. As you know, the league is proving to be very difficult for us. We're winning games most of the time. But we're just not able to keep up with the big clubs. So uh, this is a vital game that we absolutely need to win. We're going to take Ramiro out of the team here. There's no point having him on the bench. McKenney is still injured. So I guess I'll bring in... Why not Sangali? Maybe he can get some minutes in this game. But uh, I'm not going to change the lineup. I was happy with it in the last game. They're all fully fit. Let's just go again. Lionel Messi starts to Stegen is in goal. I think I saw Longley in there as well. That's De Jong, even though he hasn't got his official face in the game. I swear, there are a lot of players in this game that still don't have their face. They better do it for FIFA 21. I'll be so sad if they don't. Although, I've got to say, the FIFA modding scene is absolutely unreal. Some of the faces that have been made are so, so good. Here's Griezmann, a target of mine. Is he going to have another good game against us? I hope not. He's just been wrecked by Diaz. Man, the referee's got a yellow shirt again. It really throws me off. I keep thinking he's another one of my players. But yeah, that's my fault. When you mod kits into the game, the game doesn't recognize the color that you're actually using. It just, well, it, by default, I'd be wearing the greeny kind of turquoisey kit, wouldn't I? That's the, the kit we replaced with this yellow one. But whatever, just ignore the referee. He's got black shorts on. Oh, that could be a red. That genuinely could be a red card. Please send him off. Send him off. Do it, ref. Do it. Yes. <laughs> Jordi Alba is off. Our chances of winning this game just got a little bit better. That is a horrific tackle. He was nowhere near. So now Dembele has to come off to make space. for. Well, I think that's Firpo, isn't it? Junior Firpo at left back. So they're going with a defensive change to make sure they plug that gap. Oh, dearie me. Oh, wow. Just gave it away. Bad start from Barcelona here, though. 
Sometimes I feel like the CPU get better, though, when they have a man sent off. Has anyone else discovered that over the years of playing this game? It just feels like the, the, the CPU all of a sudden gets stronger. I mean, <laughs> that's nothing to do with that. That's just me being bad defensively. But you guys know what I mean, right? It does happen. It really does. My chances of winning this game actually haven't improved. If anything, they've got harder now. It's, it's got harder to win this game because the CPU want to just make it a little bit harder for me because it's such an unfair advantage, you know? I'm just going to take this free kick short. Nice. Ruben Diaz. Oh, can you imagine? That would have been a superb strike from a defender, but he's no Killman. You get that reference? You get that reference? Yeah, against Fulham. Oh, what a goal that was. Firpo's been absolutely amazing since he's come on. That's a crazy cross as well. Luckily, Messi's not that great in the air. Here's Arthur on his way to Juventus, isn't he, in real life? A swap with Pjanic. Oh, hang on. Ball over the top 40 yards about. I think he's probably going to get there. Or is he not? Go on, keep it in. Oh, that was so unlucky. I love how... I think it's Koulibaly, isn't it? I love how he pretty much stopped. He assumed I was not going to keep that one in, and he was right. Beautiful play. Oh... It was good until I lost it. Honestly, though, this does not feel like a game where I'm playing against 10 men. This feels like a normal game against Barcelona where they are dominating me. And it's such a shame because I played so well against Bayern. All of a sudden, against a big club, I'm just crumbling. I can't do anything. Really frustrating. I'm going to make the bold decision to go three at the back, seeing as they've only got two players up front now that they've taken off a winger in Dembele. I think I'm going to take Porto off and bring in Isaac. Erdegaard, Yazabal, Gaia on the left, Valverde, Dominguez, Tavares can play right centre-back, absolutely fine. Diaz and Torres, that's really not too bad. Let's see if this makes a difference. It's going to mean I can overload their midfield and their defence a little bit easier and not have too many defenders back because, honestly, I don't, I don't think there's any point. At this point, I've got nothing to lose. I have to win this game, so I've got to go all out here. Here is Jovic. In behind for Isaac. It's just a little bit too much. <laughs> Could have killed to Stegen there. What a ball. Go on, Jovic. Go on, son. Two strikers up top. It's working so far. Jovic. Oh, he's put it in top bins. You legend. Absolutely beautiful from Jovic. What a player. I mean, do I need Griezmann? Why not just sign Jovic permanently next season and just stick with him? He's incredible. He isn't the quickest, but he feels... Like he just can't be stopped. He's just a tank. And then that finish, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We've got 32 minutes left on the clock to turn this around and get a win against 10 men. And I've got to say, I must be down for manager of the season. This is one of the best changes I've made. It is working so well, this new formation. Oh, Isaac. No, I should have gone near post. I should have, I should have shot that near post for sure. It's a big save from Tostegan. Corner comes in. Oh, we've got it back. Come on. Good cross in, please. Oh, man, Diaz. We're getting closer. Well, sadly, we're running out of time here. Messi is toying with me down this right side. Their right side, my left side. Coutinho whips in a ball. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. We've got it. Hey, hey, what a ball. Come on, Jovic. Oh, look on the left side. No, that's... That is not what I wanted to do, game. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Please, please, please. Oh, my God. Give me the ball. I, it's gone in. Ref, it's in. <laughs> I cannot believe we've not won this game. How many chances have I had in the last two matches? Yet yeah, I've only scored two goals. You have to be kidding me. Barcelona got away with murder today. I'm not going to lie, guys. I think that's it. I think it is over. We are not going to be able to catch Madrid. And Barcelona, Atletico Madrid are pretty much going to win, aren't they? It looks very unlikely that they're going to drop too many points. The good news is, though, they have lost a game now. They have officially lost a match, which is good. 24 wins out of 25, though. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but a win there against Barcelona would have put us uh, four points. No, sorry. Yeah, four points behind Real Madrid and then five points behind Barcelona. So it, it would have given us a bit of a chance. I think I've done the maths right there. Maybe not. But either way... It is over. I just don't see us catching them now. Real Batista are seven points behind us. So it's looking like top four is going to be where we will be. But things can change. You just never know if we lose a couple of games and Real, Real Batista win. You know what can happen very quickly. 
In other news, McKenney is finally back from his injury. He won't be ready to start this game, but maybe we can go ahead and throw him on in the second half. We have Barcelona again. It is the second leg of the semi-finals of the Spanish Cup. This is the team we're going to go with. De La Cruz comes in with Yanazai and Buta. We've got Zaracho and Xerxi is starting up top. I thought, why not give him a go? Most likely, though, we'll throw on Isaac in the uh, the second half. Should I give Baron Nechea? Yeah, let's give Baron Nechea a go as well instead of Porto. It's a slightly different team, but still more than strong enough to compete. But we're 2-0 down, down on aggregate. So, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a tough one. I thought using the grey kit would be better because, hey, at least the referee's not wearing the same colour as me. But now, I don't know, they're both pretty dark kits. So it's uh, it's actually just as bad, I would say. Oh, what a ball that is. Don't forget, we need to score three goals today. I mean, <laughs> the odds of that happening are quite low, especially if I can't even get around Koulibaly there. Go on, Zaracho. In behind for Xerxi. Back over the top for Zaracho. Oh, oh, no. I thought he went in. No, we've hit the post. An early goal might have just given us a little bit of an edge here, but oh, absolutely gutted about that. Gosh, Dembele's quick. Dangerous ball in, but Gaia can clear that one up. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted. It just came up with Lionel Messi being the player to watch. I mean, you don't say. Really? Of course it's Lionel Messi. The greatest player of all time. I'm going to be so sad when he retires. He's 33 now. How crazy is that? Right, here's Valverde. Inside to Xerxi. With the dummy. Can he finish? Oh, he can. Xerxi, that is absolutely brilliant. The young star starts against Barcelona and he scores right before half time. I need to find a face for him. Although it's not too bad. It is, it's not too bad of a generic face. But yeah, I need to look for a mod. But there we go, guys. We are one out of three. We need two more goals. And we hit the post earlier. This is possible, you know. That's nice from Valverde and Xerxi. We're in the second half now. Into Zaracho. Oh, I didn't have time to take a touch. I thought maybe I could control it and shoot, but I had to just get rid of it, I think. Yanazai with the corner. And to Stegen catches it. Okay, good start to the second half, this. Where's the marking? Oh, it's game over now. It is done. Absolutely gutted. Messi with the corner of dreams just whips it in with power and then I mean Zakaria barely has to touch the ball goes flying into the back of net but where is the marking this is absolutely shocking look at this wow fantastic cannot believe it man the comeback was on I'm so sad about this I'm still gonna go for it we can get more goals come on over the top oh beautiful into the box now Go on. No, Zaracho was right there. 15 minutes left. Come on, one more goal. Let's do this. This is it. Come on. Come on, one last chance. De La Cruz. Try and put Yanazai in. Xerxi, where are you? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Really, really difficult game. We could have done something. If only that first chance to hit the post went in. Who knows what could have happened. But we are now officially out of the Spanish Cup and Barcelona who for sure were the favourites going into this anyway will be going into the final up against well I'm guessing Atletico Madrid yep there you go they've won 5-0 on aggregate against Real Betis so uh, yeah good luck to Barcelona and Atletico Madrid may the best team win Gotta say, by the way, Xerxi was pretty good in that game. I quite enjoyed it. He's uh, he's maybe not the best young player in the game, but I can imagine if he gets to 84, 85 rated, something like that, he would be disgustingly good because he's tall, he's physical, he's he, he probably would be quite quick at that point as well. I'd be interested to see what he's like at that kind of rating. But uh, anyway, we have a couple of league games now, I believe. We have Malaga and Sevilla, and then... The big game against Bayern. I'm actually going to simulate both these games now using the calendar. And let's see what results we get. The league is over. You know, there's nothing we can do this season. We got a 2-0 win and a 4-1 win. Not too bad. Both home games as well. And now we're ready for the Bayern game. Let's just take a look at the league table just out of interest. I like to keep up to date with it. So, yeah, we're still miles above Real Betis. 10 points at the moment, although they have a game in hand. Barcelona and Real Madrid, very close, but Barcelona have a game in hand as well. 
And Atletico Madrid still only one loss. Right, here we go with the 1-0 advantage going into this game against Bayern. That is a, a decent advantage, but it is not over yet. It could easily be turned around. Honestly, if they just score one goal early on, I will start panicking. But anyway, it is the same team. The only changes, well, I say the same team. The same team as the last leg against Bayern. The only changes are McKenney coming in for Dominguez because I wanted a little bit more of a physical presence in midfield. And we've also got Baron Achea playing on the left side instead of Porto. Do not let Lewandowski through, please. No. 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 Um... Okay, we haven't touched the ball and we're already back to square one. Just like that. Wow. Unbelievable, Matt. Absolutely unbelievable. How easy was this? What a joke. Simple one, two, and then bang. I can't I can't believe that. There's there's no no. Okay, right. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. Get a goal back. Come on. Just straight away. Pass it inside. Oh! Jovic! No. No, no, I'm done. I'm done with this freaking game. This is stupid. This happened against them before. I'm just, I'm in front of goal and I'm about to shoot and then they just slide in and take it. Every single time they block it, they intercept it, they do everything. I just, <laughs> I give up, man. Look, here they come. They're going to score now, aren't they? No, nope, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Baron Nechea, that is so, so cheeky. I love it. I love the dummy. Finally, we've got another goal, and this time it is an away goal. This could be vital. It really could. They now need to score two goals against us. Look at this. See ya. Oh, it's just beautiful. Honestly, if you guys don't know how to do the dummy, you just hold the right bumper, R1 or RB, depending on which control you're using, and just, just let it go through your legs and instantly turn. It is so overpowered against the CPU. It works a lot of the time. Oh, what a ball. Erdegaard. Lovely stuff. Can we get it back inside? Oh, yes, we can. Erdegaard makes it too. Hello. I think we've just made it through. I honestly think that's it, guys. How are Bayern... Well, actually, <laughs> I say how are they going to score three goals it's very possible because you know it, it, it's me defending but guys I am wow over the moon that is a superb goal Erdegaard made it ran up and scored it you, you can't deny how good Erdegaard is just a superb player oh McKenney bringing him in has been genius so far he's just so good so so good and now we're on the break again from that one tackle here goes Baron Achea Go on. Back post. Oh, it was going there. Erdegaard was there. Let's get the corner in before the break. Ah, can never win headers. I think the referee's going to end it here, though. Can I get one shot away? Go on, Diaz. Ah, you can see I powered up the shot, but we didn't have time. And that was definitely going in the top right corner. No doubt about it. We were making it four there on aggregate. We are controlling this game. I don't know what is up with Bayern. How can I go up against Barcelona and really struggle and then play against Bayern and it's not that difficult? It doesn't make any sense to me, man. Like, I'm genuinely just controlling this game. Look at this. Almost got in again there. But yeah, they, they just haven't been that good. I, I don't know. I don't know why. Defensively and, and especially midfield as well, they've got such incredible players, but they don't seem to be playing together. You know, they're, they're leaving gaps. That, that, I, I can't explain it. Well done, Diaz. Brilliant tackle. We've got about 20 minutes left here. I'm just going to take it easy. We don't need to overly stretch ourselves. We've won this tie. It is game over. It's now about resting those legs for the game against... Uh, who have we got next? It's Barcelona again, I think. Here we go. Cross coming in. Oh, that was close. No. You've got to be kidding me. There's no way he just missed that. I, I just need to make sure in this replay it was definitely his header. Oh, my God, it was. Oh, my God. Baron Achea, mate, I know you're a good player with the ball at your feet, but, geez, you've got to be doing better there. That is embarrassing. I, can't, I still can't believe he missed that. Well, luckily, it literally doesn't matter because we're going into injury time and we've already won this game, as we know. 
Valverde into Jovic and the referee blows his whistle. We've done it. We've gone through against Bayern. I honestly did not expect that. And you know what? The league was always going to be a struggle. I would rather do well in the Champions League at this point in this season. I really feel like after beating Bayern, I, I can beat anyone, right? Maybe not, but still. I'm feeling really positive after that. That was a really good performance, again, against a very, very good Bayern side. No surprise that Atletico Madrid have beaten Leverkusen as well. It was 5-2 on aggregate. We've got Liverpool smashing Lazio 5-0. But look at the Dortmund game. Wow, that was close. They've gone through on away goals after going 4-4 ag on aggregate there against Manchester United. We've got Man City going through 7-0 against Inter. Real Madrid going through 5-2 against Napoli. RB Leipzig have not knocked out Juventus. Wow, that's an incredible result for them. And Barcelona have beaten PSG 7-2. Blimey, some incredible games there. Please give me RB Leipzig in the next round. I think out of all of these teams, I would take RB Leipzig. Maybe Dortmund. I think all the other teams probably would be too difficult. Especially avoid Barcelona, please. So that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to post this recently. I just needed a break from this game. I'm feeling fresh. It's nice to come back with a fresh mind, and it's been good fun. Today's episode has been really good fun. As you can see in the league table, we are still in fourth place. That just isn't going to change. We are seven points behind Madrid, but we are a comfortable seven points above Real Betis. So uh, I'm pretty sure fourth is going to be where we finish. But now I think it's all about the Champions League. You will find out in the next episode who we have in the quarterfinals. But until then, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.